beautiful birds, flighty. As you can tell, they don't give you a lot of time to get out, and they get out there quick. So, have a quick look at these. Gun's empty, but they're actually a very big upland game bird. Good wingspan, very squared off tail. They're kind of beat or built for beating the wind around here. You can see their colors when they tuck in somewhere, they really blend in well. Makes them hard to see. Native game birds always have fully feathered feet, so it's easy to tell that. This is another male, nice bird. Those uh, feathers that they stick up over their head in the spring. This one's still pinny, he's quite, quite a young bird. This is a, another juvenile, another male. Again, the pinnated feathers they put up over their head when they dance, like that. And then that air sac that is a bright uh, orange color that they blow up. They blow them up big and then they coo, they make a cooing sound as they dance. Very cool birds. They're very dark meat, but they are very good to eat. This one uh, is hit pretty hard. I'll show you real quickly how to clean these. If you're in the field, carry a Ziploc bag with you. <laughs> makes it easier when you get back to camp. What I do is I just break the skin on the breast. It just makes it easier. You can see how dark that is. You can also check the crop and see what they've been eating. They've been out on the clover mostly. But what I do is I just put my feet on the wings. Especially when they're warm, it's easy to do. Grab their legs, grab right up on the thighs. It's the, the best way to do it. And just give them a quick, short pull. And what happens is it's gonna pull right through. Sometimes you gotta just start that skin around the neck. There it is. Look at the fat in those birds too. But this just pulls right out of the back. Right, that whole backbone comes out. And there's solid breast with the plate on it. Cleaned right out. There's the heart. So to be legal for transport, in most areas you have to have one fully feathered wing. And of course that's easy to do, we got two of them on here, but we can cut one off at the joint. And it's always nice to do this in the field, because as you can tell you get feathers all over the place, but out here it won't matter. And then you can peel this joint down. that and I always like to break them on a joint just because I don't like sharp bones that way you have a blunt bone in your bag it won't cut things and there you have it one greater prairie chicken ready for the bag we'll get that ziplock bag out put them in and then if we actually go back here, we can take the legs and thighs. They're actually very good to eat. And there's one. You pop it at the joint, and I think I left my knife in the bike. But we'll use this one here, and you just come right along the body. And you can see that leg bone I popped out. Anyone that doesn't keep the legs and thighs off their grouse and things don't know what they're missing. These cook up wonderfully. You can smoke them, you can barbecue them, you can do them like chicken. But lots of meat on there. Very good to eat. There's a, the leg bone is actually broken on this one. From the shot, both birds went down pretty quick. With the heavier cover here on this old uh, shelter belt, they actually came up closer than they normally do. But there's the leg and thigh, one more in there. You can see when you're done cleaning them, there's not very much left to these birds. We, uh, we've pretty much taken everything we can eat. You could take the heart and the gizzards and stuff too. Again, they're always good to experiment with when you're cooking. But here's a really good example. Here's your backbone here. You still got the twitch. If we cut that there and just pop that leg bone out, this will come right off. Just like that. Clean it up. 
I'll show you quickly how I like to do the joints on any birds, whether it's a game bird or waterfowl. Again, I do not like sharp bones when we're eating them or when you're feeding them to family and friends. So I always try to pull the skin down over the first joint. And it's not that hard to do, just like that, get a hold of it. There's the joint there, you can actually just turn it and uh, cut it from the bottom. And again, when you serve these to anyone or freeze them, you don't have any sharp bones sticking up. It's all rounded, soft, just like when you buy chicken legs at the grocery store. So there it is, greater prairie chicken. Our limit's three, so we're done for today. But the good news is, it's opening day of pheasant season, and there's a bunch of people without licenses that want to go for a walk. How could I lose? <laughs>